everybody, and welcome back to Dread Delusion, uh, a game that I haven't played in a while, honestly, and so I'm going to get a little bit more used to how things are going, but... Oh, what is this? Oh, it doesn't do anything. Uh, last time we actually got a map. Holy hell, it took us a while, huh? Oh, look at the big sun on that map. Uh, so now we're going to the little village over here, and we're going to, if I remember the way... I believe it's down here. Uh, we're going to be trying to fill out the map as good as we can. We got a couple of things to do around here. I know we still got to go check out that giant mushroom that they worship, I think. And yeah, man. We're heading right in. I get the jumpies. I already talked to this man. He's the one that told us about the, the map, I believe. We already talked to a few people in the town. Oh, is that the giant dead mushroom that they're talking about? I thought it would be alive. What is this? Northwest South? Okay. That's funny because it says we're going south, but on the map it looks like we're going north. And also, once I get here, it looks like this landmark should be interesting, so I should use... R? Yeah. A sketch of the landmark you made into uh, okay okay cool well we got that now what is that it doesn't show us on the map oh oh we are going south okay i thought this was where we were going i thought this was the little town but i guess not i guess we are going south which is weird that it didn't didn't unlock any of the uh actual land there but anyway we got some more people to talk to here we already got the tea from that guy so that's good here's a save crystal good what is this over here i can't read anything in this game hello sir how, what is a oh, wait hello how are you the man's eyes follow you in suspicion uh, the graying hair and weathered skin suggest he is an older than most in the village, and a faded scar runs down his face. You're the new, you're new in town, I gather. Well, I'm the local waymaster. Oh, that's right. Name's Cool Witch, like Cool Whip. <laughs> <laughs> and I have, uh, and I'll have you know, better, oh, before you engage in any business in the pile, I'll be taking your weight. So without another word, please step on the scales. He gestures to the huge contraption behind him, thanking ye kindly. Wait, you want to weigh me? He narrows his eyes by decree of the, uh, apostate union. All those seeking to trade in the judicial Holy shit. <laughs> Must prove their ordinary disposition. That is not physically altered by cipher magic or god devotion. Nor bearing the guilt of any unpunished crimes. Oh shit, does that... Because I, I was a prisoner, does that mean... You could tell all that just by my weight? Just step on the goddamn scales, alright? All right, fine. So, e. Okay. He studies the dials and symbols atop the ma machine and scratches various notes on some parchment. Interesting. Very interesting. Did I uh, pass? The prime glyph says you're a criminal he shoots you a stern glance the lesser glyphs are hard to parse let's see now forbidden cipher eh ah so you stumbled on one of those illegal words a strange crime no doubt but one of the one with good reason what you don't want to be blowing up a town just because you mispronounced one of those i guess that's why we were in prison but I don't understand why. <laughs> ah, but there's one more glyph. Inquisition agent? He looks up from his parchment and his face stuck, struck with puzzlement. Begging your pardon, at first glance, I thought you might be one of those Dark Star mercenaries running from the Inquisition raid, but you must have 
been fighting those scoundrels, eh? Yes, those crimes were just a cover story. That's good. I'm a confessor, atoning for my crimes. It's not by choice, I assure you. God, should we tell the truth here? I am going to tell him the truth. I'm a, I'm a confessor, atoning for my crimes. Well, far be it from me to delay Inquisition business. I approve your visit to Pyle. Or Pyle. <laughs> uh, you won't get any more trouble. He thinks a moment, but uh, say, in the light of your profession, could you lend a humble servant of the Oposca Union a hand? There be a Posta Union passport in it for you. You see, the Inquisition raid ain't the only reason we've been eager to weigh people of late. There's also the fears of bloody god worshippers among the townsfolk. After all we've been through. After all we've been through. Uh, he looks distinctly peeved. So you need help in tracking god worshippers? He leans forward and speaks low. I. Folks have been been a feared recently you see the soil's dying and all and harvested down merchants want to buy our sky shroom more than ever but we can't meet demand so some have been flirting with the old ways what makes the old ways so bad he sighs it's been 40 years since the god war 40 years since the apostates told the wiccans and their gods to go fuck themselves 40 years since me and the lads drove a void spear through our own god's eye. That crude, violent bastard of a god, Anang Ananguin? Uh, and in those 40 years, folks have forgotten how bad it was under the divine tyrant and his Wiccan lackeys. Sure, we had bountiful harvests and our purses were bulging. But our sons and daughters were taken from us, and the soil was fertilized with their blood. Now our god, old old god Aguinas Anguins, I'm just gonna call him Anguins, uh, been dead for long enough, but they say so long as people still believe, part of the god can live on. So there's been murmuring of some folk trying to bring him back, and that's got the rest of us scared shitless trouble uh trouble with a small town like this we all know each other and guilty parties won't talk to me but you you're an outsider and an inquisition agent to boot i need you to ask around and try to find any wicked sympathizers so you so we can start so we can sort this out quiet, like, before the villagers start lopping each other's heads off in a frenzy. Find some... <laughs> Find something out, and I'll dispense you a union passport that'll grant you passage to Hollowshire. Alright, I'll see what I can do. He sighs in relief. You have my thanks, newcomer. Just as soon as you find something out of sorts, let me know, you hear? Uh, okay. Looking for some Dark Star mercenary, I need to explore the Norg Islands. He taps his nose, the Inquisition business, eh? Don't, uh... Don't worry, old Colwitch can keep a secret. Well, you might want to start asking Nud, which I already did, who's the, hi who's the hired muscle over the Sky Shroom Company. Gotta say, he's a... Oh, excuse me. He's a prickly fellow. And I've never gotten on with him too well, but I know he used to work for the Dark Stars. We already talked to him. We already know all this. But to be honest, I doubt you'll find much here in Old Pile. Uh, you'll be wanting to reach the Hollow Town in Hollow Shire to the south. There's a Union Council building in a bus bustling dock where all sorts of sky ship lay anchor. But to pass over the Union Gate Bridge, you'll need an Apostle Passport. Each one will grant you passage over a single bridge. Oh, okay. So I need multiple passports to get... Okay. That's kind of, I'm assuming, how they gate you into certain sections of the game. 
as a certified waymaster, I have one that is not I'm not using, but Inquisition or not, I have earned my trust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. We know, we know, we know. What do you can tell me about the town? What do you can tell me about the scale. I'll be going then. I right, until next time. Cool. I'm just gonna casually check upstairs. Make sure nothing's Uh oh. The owner of this place won't let you pass this point. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> we. I don't know if there's fall damage, so I haven't figured that out. We already talked to him and did that. Let's go over here. This seems to be like a trading hub. Can I destroy this? I can. And a throwing knife. Put that away. Hello? Uh, hello. How are you? Woman casts an indifferent gaze. Casts you with an indifferent gaze. Greetings, traveler. Welcome to, uh, she yawns and then rubs her temples. The pile port of the Winged Merchants Guild. I am the local harbor master. Can I help you? Uh, how can I get my own airship? She smirks. What do you think? We just hand them out to bright-eyed travelers? <laughs> Takes a lot of coin to buy a sailed vessel, sailing vessel, you know. Most Union merchants only have shares of their ships they use. Plus, even if you had a bulging coin purse under those, she vaguely gestures to your clothes, <laughs> fine garments you're wearing. These days, you need a writ of permission from the Roverian Royavan Port Authority. And trust me, you're not going to find one of those lying around out here in the sticks. Uh, what does the guild do here? She takes a sharp intake of breath as the question, as if the question was a particularly confounding riddle. Well, we oversee the transfer of goods, import tariffs, uh, check for contraband, that sort of thing. Pile is pretty quiet place, so we don't get much traffic once a week. A merchant ship, usually a cog or a sloop. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Comes from Hollow Town and es exports from the Union Heartlands. Um, maybe, maybe once in a while we'll get a Denau from Al Asafar. Jesus Christ, these names are fucking me. And after we unload their goods, what do they want? Sky Shroom. <laughs> Always fucking Sky Shroom. Scry Shroom. I swear I have to winch one more crate of that stuff. Farewell. Okay. Have a good day. Oops. Didn't need to pull that out. Oh, what is this? Let's purchase an airship deed before you can upgrade it. Okay. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> that looks like a big doom monster. Let's see if we get hurt. No, no damage so far. All right, whose is this? You won't let me go down in your basement. Hello, ma'am. The woman sits with her eyes closed, a pained expression on her face. Various medallions and necklaces hang around her neck, suggesting she holds some important position here in pile. She mutters under her breath, flames, oh, the flames. We have to douse the flames. Is everything okay? Ah, she looks at you with a frenzied insan intensity to her gaze. What are you doing? You got to get out of here. <laughs> Noltoloib? Notalob? <laughs> we'll burn you alive. I don't even know what the fuck that is, lady. What are you talking about? Can't you see the monster rising from the flame above the flames? Oh, the horror. We have to. She stops mid sentence and blinks slowly. After the moment, she says, nothing's on fire, is it? No. Oh, how embarrassing. I'm terribly sorry. You caught me in the middle of a divination. My name's O. Olwyn. Mayor of this humble village of Pyle. How do you do? Oh, you're the kid's mom. Little kid's mom, you say divination? Are we about to die? She chuckles nervously. Oh, by the Sky Realms, not at all. There's only a distinct possibility that we'll be burned alive. You see, I've found myself presented with quite the dilemma. 
It's really nothing to worry about, so please don't cause a fuss. I have the whole thing quite under control. I was merely indulging in a sky shroom, scry shroom meditation to divine what manner of threat this giant monster could pose. And uh, it turns out it's really not much of a problem at all, she gulps. Wait, what's this about a giant monster? Oh, so it's not common knowledge. She looks genuinely, <laughs> genuinely relieved. I thought the whole town would be talking about it by now. You see, a small mercenary band have made, has made certain uh, demands. No, I don't mean Vela's Dark Stars. This lot are much less uh, accomplished, <laughs> which makes it all the more puzzling how they got their hands on that giant monster. Nalt Hilob. What is a Nautilob exactly? She waves her hands dismissively. Just the Sky Realm's mol mollusk. Just a Sky Realm's mollusk that uh, you find around these parts. Easily recognizable by their shells. But I had absolutely no idea they could get this big. Is that that monster I saw in the distance? Those mercenary scoundrels are threatening me with their huge Nautilob. Uh, they <laughs> claim they'll sack the town if they d if I don't comply with their absurd demands. I really don't want to cause a panic in the town, so I'm at a loss as what to do. But if someone could sneak into their fortress to the southeast and ascertain whether the thing has any weaknesses that could we could exploit well it, let's just say that person would find themselves firmly within my favor i'll see what i can do she gives you a sly smile very well now was there anything else uh do you know any about any wiccan worship going on god worship and pile surely not most of the villagers who are en old enough to remember actively relishing the death of their former god, Ananguin, uh, for the horrible things he did. Okay. I met your son, Lud. Oh, yes, my darling boy. He was uh, just loitering around the path again. <laughs> was he just loitering around the path again? I can never get that boy to pursue his studies, no matter how hard I try. She sighs. But I shouldn't be hard on him. There aren't any other children his age in pile, and my mayor mayoral duties keep me so busy. Oh, that reminds me, it's nearly time for my inauguration initi- And- What? <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. Looking for Darkstar Mercenary, uh, farewell. Okay. These wind chimes? are very loud <laughs> let's see what else here's their big dead god i guess let's go take a look at that oh there's a ton of interesting there's gravestones can i destroy this i cannot huh I'm guessing that's the big monster she was talking about. Okay, well, let's keep heading somewhere else, I guess. Down here. Oh, that's where the bridge is, I'm assuming. What is this lever? Lift is already in you here. Oh, it's taking us down. How far down are we going? Oh, there's some stuff. Cool. Magic potion and uh, some throwing knives. Ah, it takes us down near the uh, the tent with the map maker. Okay. I've pretty much already explored all I want over here. Oh, I forgot I gotta hold it. That's right. Yeah, fucked. Oh, 
dead and I have more ammunition than I know what to do with. How much ammunition do I have now? Doesn't tell me, does it? 60! 60 fucking bullets and I don't have a fucking bow. Or a good sword for that matter. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it. So let's go back up the elevator. We already kind of searched this place fully. And then let's continue to head south, I'm guessing. Yoink. Okay, there's a couple of draw- or just one big draw bridge. I don't know what that- that looks like an elevator up. Hello, sir. Greetings, the bridge is closed unless you're a bearer of a genuine uh, apostate union passport. So if you're not one, get lost. Okay, well, I'll be back later. Can I use this or no? No, this doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Well... I thought that that was all the town had to offer, but I guess we still gotta find... We still gotta find the, the god worshippers. Oh, what does this sign say? Got a QR code on it. <laughs> this way to Har ha Hollow Shrine. Okay. This way to the Wobbly Noggin. Ye old pub serving ale and providing bed and board. Okay. Let's head back here. Oh, there's some money over there. Money! Five whole coins! <gasps> no, more money! Five whole other coins! Okay, well, let's talk to the kid about the god worshipping. See if we can get some info from him. There's a box back here with some lockpicks. The perfect amount of lockpicks, I must say. Let's see if this kid has any information on the god worshippers. Oh, is that... That's a whole other place down there. Okay, so after we talk to him... Logan, was there something you wanted to ask? Do you know anything about these Wiccan sympathizers? One suddenly looks very pale. Oh, you mean the people who are coveting the god worshippers? A uh, cavorting <laughs> with the god worshippers? A bead of sweat rolled down his face. They say it's a criminal act, right? They could be locked up forever. He shakes his head. I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about it. You try Nud. He's usually the scribes from the company house. He used to be a mercenary and stuff. I'm sure he knows about such things. You know something I don't, kid. And you got a mushroom hat. I didn't even notice a mushroom hat. Very funny. Let's go talk back to... Let's go back to talk to Nud. And let's see... If he has anything to say about it. Uh... Do you know anything about god worshippers here? Ah, did the old coal witch got you hunting down would-be Wiccans then? He smirks. I really don't like to get involved in such matters, what people ascribe to. Be it legal or otherwise, is no business of mine. I'm no lawman after all. He smirks and sips his tea on his cup for tea for a moment. Of course, it's hard. It hardly needs stating that if I were looking for people involved in illicit deeds, I'd be keep, probably be keeping an eye out for what happens after nightfall. But that would be just stating the obvious. Okay. Uh, some mercenaries are threatening Empire with a giant monster. Ah, oh, shit, I double-clicked that. Fuck me. But a single checkle, you mean the bunch of idiots who are down in the ruins? Don't make me laugh. Firstly, they're hardly fit to call themselves mercenaries. The mayor hired them to clear out monsters in the forest, a trifling task. And the show they put on was more fitting of a comedic troupe than a professional sellsword. And secondly, there's no such thing as a giant nautiloid. I don't know why I keep saying nautiloid. <laughs> uh, at least I've sailed far and wide in my time and never even heard of one larger than a silk slug. 
So the idea that their buffoons managed to capture one is preposterous. Maybe it's fake. I'm guessing the mayor has asked you to look into the matter. Hmm? Well, if I were you, I make use of your wits before drawing your sword. I sense there's some trickery at play here. Okay, well, thank you. That's very good. You, sir, do you have anything to say? You also have a mushroom hat, I didn't know. Heard any warm rumors about the god worshippers? He frowns. Now look, that's a pretty nasty accusation to be thrown around willy-nilly. Uh, what exactly are you getting at, newcomer? Of course, all the people in Powell... Of all the people in Powell, you stand the most to gain from a better harvest, no? You dare accuse me of such a thing in my own shop? Now listen here, you right. I add family who sacrifice themselves to the cunt of a god. <laughs> uh, just so we could bear be here today. I remember being just a boy and seeing my uncle who raised me like his own walk to the into the sacred room, never come back. If I knew anyone who was cavorting with Wiccans, I'd, I'd, he sighs heavily. It's true, the business has been hurting lately. The soil's not what it was when I was a boy, and each year the yield gets leaner. And I'd sooner pack the whole thing in and be a beggar on the streets of Hollow Shrine than subject Pyle to th that tyrant god again. He lowers his voice to a hu hushed whisper. If there really are folk around here playing to the god, and I'm not saying there are, they'd be doing it under the cover of darkness, I'd wager. Yeah, we got that much. Only last night I saw someone lurking in the dark as I was packing up. Now, if someone were to rest until nightfall, they might be able to get a better look. But that'll be all I'll say on the matter, so don't be asking me again, you hear? Okay, fair enough. Uh, what do you know about the mercenaries with the monster outside? He grumbles some curses under his breath. I heard as much from our regular old merchant. One of our regular old mer regular merchants. He said something about a beast floating over the fort. The old fort. It's the Rotten Onion lads again, ain't it? Oh, that's why it's called Rotten Onions. Okay. Always trailing some harebrained scheme. Trialing some harebrained scheme. Uh, all the while scaring off my tra trading partners. Okay, cool. Okay, so we gotta wait until nightfall to see if there's anyone worshipping gods. We got this place down here to check out. Hello, sir. You're new. The farmhand sits aimlessly watching the mushrooms. <laughs> He's just watching them. Busy day. <laughs> he startled the farmhand. Hmm? Oh, Amir wanted, wasn't slacking off. Oh no, it's just, there ain't much to do around here lately on account of the poor shroom yield. Each year the harvest get leaner and leaner. Dw Dwin? says it'll be fine, but I don't think he... even he believes it. Last time I took Scry Shroom, I saw a vision of Pile, Baron, and Bear, and houses all ruined. Honestly, unless we do something, this town ain't got much of a future, I reckon. Are there anybody about God worshippers? He looks suddenly nervous, and here don't know nothing, you hear? And if he caught talking about that kind of stuff, Cole Witch will go and weigh me on one of those scary scales of his. I'll leave it to it. Goes back to staring at the mushrooms. Okay. Hmm. Anything else? Anything up here? Just more farmland. There's a tiny path this way. With some gold! And this leads back up here. Okay, good to know. That's probably like an illusion or something that uh, they're just making that monster look real big. Let's take a look inside here. Anything in here? No, nope, just uh, just a little room. Okay. Well, let's go and wait until nightfall 
to see what we got here. So, where exactly can I find a bed? I guess I could just go back to the fortress and lay there. Or maybe I can use this guy's tent, who knows? Can I? No, I cannot. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to the, uh... The big thing here. We're gonna go take a little nappy nap. Okay, and it's nighttime now. Very cool. I'll save the game again. Let's hurry and go back to town. See how much has changed. I wonder if there's different enemies at night, too. That'd be cool. Interesting. All right. Where are the bad boys at? Okay, we're back at town at night. You don't have anything to say. Hello again? No? Okay, bye. Let's go to the actual site. Oh, there's someone there. Who are you? Are you someone I can talk to? In the darkness and under such thick hood, you can't make out the person's face. Get away from me here. You shouldn't be here. Come any closer and I swear you'll regret it. Ooh, I'm close. Ooh, I'm so close. Okay, well, you're suspicious as fuck. Let's go see if there's someone actually at the site here. Doesn't look like... Ooh, I fell. I wonder what's down there. Don't know. Let me see if I can follow this guy. Where'd he go? And I lost him. Sick. Sick nasty awesomeness. Oh, more lockpicks. Cool. Anything over here? No. We'll see if we can find them. Doesn't look like I'm having much progress. Oh, there is a box back here I can smash. Got some more throwing knives. That's good. Yeah, I seem to have lost them. Need a key. Or it's barred from the other side. Unless there's something over here, maybe? Some secret passage. This might actually be to the underground of the... Yeah. Maybe? Aha! Oh, look, some ore. Iron ore. Maybe this is where he went. Aha! There he is. Sup, fucker? What if I just attack him? Found evidence of the god worship deep within the caves of the underground. The waymasters surely want to hear about this. Okay. Well, you're not my enemy yet. <laughs> so I'll let you off with a deal this time. Oh, a delusion. Sick. Let's pump that right now into our wisdom just to kind of just to sort things out a bit. Even things out, I should say. Excuse me. I wonder if I could have just attacked and killed him. If that would have completed the quest already. But I don't know. Let's go see if he's awake. We can talk to him and tell him. I did not mean to lockpick that. Very cool. I guess I'll just pay for a bed. 
because honestly I have how much money do I have does it say anywhere does it say where my coins oh I still have this thing to sell I could sell that oh 142 is at the bottom there I saw it at the last second uh room for rent like to peruse your services room for rent two coins you can have it okay go up here take a bed I'll take it till noon okay down we go okay and then we go up here talk to this guy welcome back what can i get you for about the god worshippers do you hear something about the sacred shrooms well you'll need to travel through the mushroom forest and i can't say okay hold on what biggest shroom you've ever seen on account of the old being wiccans pass uh there's doors and a path leading around to the shroom itself the main doors will lead through you through the central stem but there might be a whole host of nasty monsters what they reach around back yeah okay weird i don't know I said i wanted to talk to him about it but i found evidence of god worship a pile okay god lens and close so yeah tell me what you hear someone dressed in robes lurking around at night uh, there were occult instruments in the caverns below pile. For a moment, he merely stares past you, lost in thought. This can only mean one thing. Someone's conducting rituals around Aguiza's corpse. Uh, they means they're trying to reopen the blood contract. The bear, but buried in those clauses was a terrible cost. No one, no one, no less than human sacrifice. Okay, here, take this key. I'll unlo it'll unlock the upper deck of the scroom sh shroom to the west. Okay. There's no doubt in my mind someone's been taking the sacred shroom to be metabolized. As per the contract's terms, you gotta go there and save them. Did you say metabolize? In the old days, there were sacred sh shrapened shrooms all over pile. Each would spawn a whole forest of scry shrooms, but only only if they'd recently metabolized by a human. I ain't sure if the scry shrooms use that part of the human body to achieve their effects, but or whether it was all just a part of his divine mockery, but I know the scry shrooms used to be more potent in the old days. Now there's only one scry shroom left, deep in the mushroom forest to the west. All the others shriveled up and died when we stopped feeding them flesh. Well, how do you, I get into this mushroom? Well, you need to travel through the mushroom forest. You can't miss the shroom itself. It's probably the biggest mushroom you've ever seen. On account of it being used by the Wiccans in the past, their doors and the path leading around up and around the shroom itself the main doors will lead you through the central stem but there might be a whole host of nasty monsters yeah yeah, yeah you told us this try looking away to reach around back yeah okay i'll do my best okay so west uh that way maybe is he talking about oh that thing yeah that'll probably be it <laughs> yeah that might actually be it okay well if that's the case i'm gonna call it here for today we're gonna go through the mushroom uh forest next time and find what the hell they're talking about i'm gonna go over here and save at this little gym here well, and then next time we're gonna be heading that way over here maybe very cool very cool big ass mushrooms <laughs> always a good sign i'll see you in the next one i got nothing else to say i'm so i'm so baffled by all this crap